Department of the World entitled Tracker Distance Asimility Measure for Disparity Map Estimation. Let's, let's start. One of the challenge of computer vision is the reconstruction of a scene of or determining the distance of an object or interest from the camera. It is possible to retrieve deep information in a pair of so-called stereo images if they meet the following requirements. They are horizontal, horizontally or vertically aligned. We know the resolution, distance between the lenses and focal length of each lens. And last, at last but not least important, we are able to obtain the position of a point in both images. This is a key concept for disparity map estimation. The disparity is the relative difference between the position of both the left and right image for a given point of interest. In one of the images of a stereo pair, a point is located and in the other image, its position is determined by comparing multiple observations within a previously defined range, which is known as the disparity range. Once the position of the same point in the other image is found, we determine, we determine the horizontal difference between both positions. This difference is a disparity value. Disparity estimation takes relevance due to the wide range of applications covering areas such as entertainment, with 3D content generation, autonomous navigation, when fused with sensors for trajectory estimation or object detection, and geographic information systems when applied in homography, or medical applications for 3D reconstruction of tissues in surgery and diagnostic support. Or proposed methods. Within the related works, uh, well, first, with related works, there is a wide range of proposals to generate disparity maps, but we can group them accordingly to the type of disparity map generated, like sparse and dense. A sparse disparity map is, uh, is such a map with only uh, values that uh, are marked as valid disparities are displayed and stored in our, in our final image or array, for example, occlusions, or if Given a check, if a disparity is determined from left to right, but right to left, the disparity is not the same, this is marked as an invalid pixel or an invalid disparity. Such disparity maps are colored, are colored sparse. There are also dense disparity maps where a post-processing or a disparity refinement process is made in, in order to estimate these invalid, invalid pixels. Also, we can group these algorithms or proposals for uh, the type of hardware used, like CPU or GPU, with or without the use of supervised learning for the cost function or disparity refinement too. Where one of the prevalent challenges is the generation of disparity map at low cost, with those prior training and with quantitative results similar to more complex proposals. So it's a little easier to implement and uh, generate multiple applications for our disparity maps. Let's go to a proposed method. The proposed method consists of three main stages. Preprocessing, first preprocessing, where, to the, where we estimate a gradient image and a volume is obtained from a given image by means of a custom Cessus transform, which can be used with window size larger than those used in the state of the art. This census transform is uh, obtained it for left and right image and is the key to obtain a binary vector for each pixel so we can use later <coughs> or a jacquard measure to determine to determine the similarity between two, bin uh, two binary pixels here then after stereo matching using the jacquard similarity measures uh, we perform a quick post-processing stage this consists of two steps, a match check, only to check if left to right is the same value estimated from right to left, and a second step, a uh, disparity local check, just to compare with a, with a local neighborhood if uh, our disparity estimation is not an outlier and smooth a little, a little the, uh, the, disparity, the disparity estimation. At the end, we, get, we got a sparse disparity map that should be uh, easier to generate a dense disparity map with uh, more valid pixels than state-of-the-art methods, but with lower percentage of bad, uh, bad matching pixels. So it should be, or, or, or hypothesis is 
that this uh, sparse disparity map should be better than the state of the art obtained with another results. In our experimental results, to determine the performance of a proposal, two ground truth datasets were used to quantitatively determine the percentage of uh, misestimate pixels for a stereo pair. These datasets are the Middlebury, Stere Middlebury Stereo Dataset and Kitty Stereo Dataset, focused on the autonomous navigation problem. For experimental results in the graph, uh, this contains the percentage of poorly related pixels for a stereo pair for Middlebury dataset. We can observe the result of our proposal here, as well as the result of state-of-the-art process, for example, R200 high that is such a highly optimized algorithm for embedded systems are currently uh, commercialized, while HGBM is one of the most popular ones and uh, given is the most common in developing libraries for uh, machine vision and um, computer vision applications like OpenCV. We can appreciate our proposal is able to deliver a reliable and consistent results for disparity, uh, for disparity maps and with a, a a low threshold, a low, a low percentage of unmatched matching pixels. In addition, uh, we show a table here to compare with methods capable of delivering a dense disparity map. For this dense disparity map, state of the art methods, uh, most of them are are done in a supervised uh, supervised learning uh, method or environment, so they need. Uh, GPU for the training and needs uh, a training for a given time in order to to deliver deliver those results. Obviously, these results are better with a lower percentage of bad, bad matching pixels, but our results are visually similar uh, to those given that uh, given or or taking into consideration that our method is uh, no supervised at no at and not using a GPU at all. It can be used as GPU, but just to gain a lower processing time, but not to, to perform a training there. In order to justify and show the difference between the processes, processes or the proposed similarity measure, Jacquard, Jacquard index, a comparison was made with the most common unsupervised quality measures or similarity measures here, in which Jacquard presents the least amount of misrelated or bad matching pixels per image. This, uh, Popular or most popular uh, similarity measures include the sum of, sum of absolute difference, normalized cross correlation, and Hamming distance. As conclusions and future work, uh, well, in this paper, a comparison between different methodologies for the sparse disparity map estimation was presented, where the main contribution of the novel method are, well, a customized census transform uh, that allows larger window size than state of the art census transform. Jacquard, a similarity measure that performs better than uh, state-of-the-art uh, non-supervised uh, similarity measures, uh, capability for a GPU implementation if the hardware is available, and uh, favoring lower number of estimations, but maximizing the confidence in the estimations gener generated uh, or that we, we can generate competent uh, results with this hypothesis. Uh, also, well, um, finally, as a future research directions, uh, we plan to pursue a real-time implementation in a low level, lower level programming language such, such as uh, C++ or Rust, or current implementation is in Python and MATLAB. And well, we need to define a strategy to estimate confidence values prior to the cost function to reduce a little more the computational operations for each disparity map estimated. Also, we need to evaluate with newer state of the art datasets and test with more disparity accuracy demanding applications. Thanks in advance for your time and have a good day. Thank you.